Uh, what you need to know about the book that I'm going to be reading from is that these two people have an established relationship. They know some things about each other. They have a bit of a rhythm down. Uh, this is not the first time for them. I find that important because they are, if this was first time sex, it would be like a one and only experience for sure. <laughs> Lanya tugged Oli across the street and down the alley to his door. She pulled him into her and backed up to the wall. She wanted to be compressed between him and something hard. She wanted him to hold her down and fuck her. Oli must have caught the hunger in her grasping hands because he planted a foot behind and pressed into her. His other foot slid forward and his thigh angled between hers. Lanya slumped onto the thick muscle, her clit sparking. The concrete wall pulled her hair and she moaned. Oli used his hips to hold her in place and braced his hands on her shoulders. He shoved them back against the wall, making her breasts thrust toward his chest. Lanya breathed deeply to decrease the distance between them, even her nipples pushing outward for contact. When Oli rolled his torso into hers, she mummed again, then gasped when his mouth engulfed the muscle on the side of her neck. She gripped his strong arms as he pushed back from her. Let me get the door, he said, panting. He turned away, reaching in his pocket for his keys. Lanya couldn't release him, though. She kept one hand on his bicep and swept the other across his shoulder, which flexed as he dug in his pocket. She growled and explored the shifting muscles on both sides of his spine, down to his ass, and back up. Oli backed up a step to swing the door wide, dislodging her hands, and she reached out for him again. He wrapped an arm around her waist and danced her inside. She lost control of her momentum, a frightening feeling, but Oli was in charge of gravity. She landed on the stairs, her head supported by one of his hands and the other protecting her back from the tread. The shock to her ass wrung a cry from her, but her legs were already rising to lock around Foley's back. He shoved his cock at the heat radiating from her cunt and locked her head in place for a deep, sucking kiss. Their mouths created a shared cabin filled by their tongues, dancing to the rhythm set up by their hips. The stare cut into her back, regardless of his attempt at pulling her upward, and she whimpered <coughs> at the frustration caused by undesired pain. Oli pulled back and stood. Lanya gladly took his hand when he offered it. He pulled her up to stand beside him, then dragged her up the stairs. Oli felt like every muscle was hard enough to break rocks. Lanya had signaled every way possible that she wanted him to fuck her. He wanted to shove into her with his entire body, as much of it as possible. He wanted to mark her, a desire that made him howl inside and turn away from Inside his room, the cracking of the slam door met the small scream she made when he bit the muscle of her shoulder. He bit her hard, his mouth filled and his breath snorting from his nostrils. Her hand scrabbled across his back, flinching and grasping in turn as he modulated the pressure in the suction. He filled his hands with her ass and pulled her tight to him, his mouth now skeeting over her collarbones and the tendons of her neck. Her head fell back and tightened her skin under his lips. Oli turned in a tight curve, moving Lanya where she seemed frozen. He put his hands on her waist and shoved her down onto the bed, following her down with his hands and mouth already open for her breasts. The cotton over them disguised her smell, and he would not tolerate that. He dragged her shirt off so fast, her arms flew over her head, then pulled them back down with the straps of her bra. Her arms were trapped now by her sides, but Oli ignored her rocking attempts to free them while he pressed his face between the breasts he raised the hard hand. Oh, he wished he'd packed hard. Fuck. He wished his cock was as big as it felt. He wanted to fill her up so full that she would gasp, and so he released her and rose to his feet. Lanya lay sprawled, her hair a writhing mass, and she shook her head back and forth in frustration. Don't leave me now, she demanded with hands outstretched. I'm going to fuck you, Foley said, substituting words for hands, giving her something while he prepared. You are so fucking sexy there, with your bra around your waist, and your bike pants tied on your hips and thighs. I'm going to strip it all off and fill you up with this cock. Oli pulled open the toy drawer in his low dresser. He chose a large, realistically shaped dildo made of silicone, one that had balls. He held his silicone cock to his pubic bone with one hand and stroked it with the other. The bouncing pressure on his own cock made him groan and lower his eyes. Lanya rose to her elbows, her breasts falling to each side. When she licked her lips, Oli hummed in pleasure. Get it on, Oli! You're driving me crazy! 
She watched his hand on the cock, and he felt unstoppable. The flush across her cheeks and the shifting of her legs telegraphed her arousal. The usual discomfort of stripping and putting on a harness and cock dissipated in the way that she moaned at the sight of his heart on. It was smaller by far than the silicone one in his hand, but her eyes focused on him hungrily, and her hand drifted between her legs. Holy looked in the toy drawer and considered a moment. The harness that fit like briefs was most comfortable, but Holy glanced at Lanya over his shoulder, and her hands were behind her back and clipping her bra. Didn't give as much power and control. He'd go with the old favorite, leather in a jock strap configuration. He stepped into the leg straps and shoved the dildo into the tight o ring at the front. He buckled the harness tight at the hips and grabbed the loom. Before he could turn back, Lanya pressed her body to his back and reached around. She drew one finger down the length of the silicone cock and fully watched Fred cock. He pumped lube over her hand. And the cock, the creamy texture, making him think, as always, of premature ejaculation. <clears throat> With this cock, though, they could both come over and over without having to stop. Lanya stroked the lube over the smooth silicone. It had a head and ridges molded into the shape, and her thumb stroked delicately across them as she reached the tip. Her grip tightened and only groaned. The sight of her hand firming, the additional pressure of the base of the silicone cock on his own, and the press of her breasts against his back drove him wild. His hips bucked, even as the silicone pulled his flesh uncomfortably. Oli said it slid his fingers between his pubic bone and the harness and dildo. He spread some of the lube over his own cock and refitted the dildo to press right there. Lanya continued stroking her cock. Her other hand splayed over his abdomen and she pulled herself harder into his back. Thighs and hips still encased in bike pants. Be belly and breasts gloriously bare. Oli let her continue, closing his eyes to enjoy the sparks of sensation over so much of his body. I can't wait any longer, Oli. You don't have to. Oli turned in Lanya's arms and grabbed her head for a desperate kiss. When he moved his hands to her breasts, her head fell back and he bit at the bruise he'd made moments ago. Little nips sufficed to make Lanya squirm and gasp, shrinking away and pulling him closer in the same motion. I have to fuck you now. Lanya's yes flowed as air, without force, but Oli heard her. He turned her around and bent her over the dresser. Her hand scrabbled for purchase, but only succeeded in knocking his change jar to the floor. Coins rang and rolled as he pulled the tight bike pants down around her thighs, trapping them together. He put his hand on the silicone cock and guided it between her ash cheeks. He slid it lower, finding his, her cunt with his fingertips and then pushing, shoving thrusting the big cock into her while she panted and tipped her hips back. Her arms folded over her head against the wall and that gave her a little purchase. She pushed back while he worked the cock into her. She took it with a gasp and then moaned when he pulled back out a little. Oli's hands crushed Lanya's hips, the soft flesh giving and her hip bones providing anchorage. Now, with all the power of his strong thighs, Oli ran home. Lanya's count was pulled tight around his silicone cock. It disappeared under the curves of her ass as he worked his way into her. Her legs were planted, thighs flexed, blending soft and strong in layers of muscle and fat. Her hips narrowed at her waist and the muscles on either side of her spine mounted as she arched her back. Oli thrust slowly and Lanya moaned again, her head to one side, her face hidden in her hair. All that hair. It slid across her shoulder blades and piled in the curve of her elbows. Somehow, it was the last straw. Oli slid a hand up her back and into the hair at the back of her head. He grabbed a huge fistful and pulled her head back with it. Folded over her back, he could just make out the shape of her lips and the curve of her cheek. Open up to me. Open up, Lanya. Yes, yes, yes. Lanya's agreement opened the floodgates. Oli shoved her pants the rest of the way down and stepped on so she could pull one leg free. She spread her legs wider, bracing herself, tipping her cunt to open it as wide as possible. Fuck yes, said Oli, his growl loud in his own head. One hand in her hair and the other on her shoulder, Oli pounded into Lanya. He hit her hard with his thick hips and thighs, ramming the cock all the way into her. She quivered under his hands and held her ground. Oli felt the fucking build in him, and he knew that he could come. Some part of him wanted to wait for her, but when he slowed a fraction, Lanya reached behind and raked his hip with her short nails. Fuck it then. He released her hair on her shoulder, standing upright and pulling her again by the hips. He angled to get the most sensation on his cock and added a circling motion to his thrusts. 
His motions turned frenzied and his thighs shook. Lanya made encouraging sounds and the expansion and contraction of her ribs proved that she was with him. Oli felt the swell of tension, the internal preparation for cataclysm. Yes, fuck, yes, fuck, yes, fuck, fuck! His vision blurred and his whole body shook with the force of coming. Lanya took over the motion, maintaining speed when he froze and jerked with the full body release. He poured the tension, the built up energy into her and she pressed for more, voracious. Oli's legs weakened and he stumbled under the demand of her hips. He guided the fall and landed in the straight backed wooden chair next to his table, pulling Lanya down on top of him so that the cock stayed buried in her cunt. He could feel her heat and her need. She never stopped moving, switching from the backward thrust to a rise and fall without missing a beat. Unstoppable now, she pounded Oli, wetness flying, thighs slapping. She jerked to a stop and moaned, only to start thrusting again. Oli shook when she stopped and grunted when she started. She put, brushed his hand aside and used her own on her clit, finely attuned to her need. That left his hands free to reach up and smash her nipples between his fingers. The chair screamed, moving across the floor with the force of their fucking, and Oli realized a moment late that it was a new sound. The chair collapsed under him, cracking sharply. <laughs> Lanya landed on top of him, cock still firmly seated, chanting, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oli couldn't let her hang there. He rolled her over to the side with less wreckage and threw her ass up. Her fingers working her clit hard again. Lanya's chant changed, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Pounding, pounding. Vaguely aware that Lanya was taking care of her old, own needs, Oli fucked her hard. Her cum had thinned the lube and he could see how red her flesh was. She was gonna be sore, but he couldn't go easy on her. He was sure she wouldn't allow that. He braced his hands on her ash cheeks, pushing them up and separating them so he could see her take the cock so hungrily. He squeezed hard, lurid handprints appearing on her skin and he felt it the rise of orgasm, starting in his calves and biceps and drawing all his focused power to his cock. Sweat dripped from his jaw, pounding, pounding, his cock swelled behind the harness, rubbing and shoving along with the silicone cock until he shouted and came. His frenzied thrusting must have pushed Lonnie over the edge because she wailed, the sound ringing for a long moment before changing to quieter sounds along with his weaker motions. She collapsed, face down on the floor, and only followed her down. Breath rasped from his throat. Sweat evaporated, leaving a slight chill behind. The dildo twitched and Lanya moaned. Oli smoothed her hair back. Hold on a second. I'll pull out slowly. The silicone stuck to Lanya's flesh and Oli winced at her flinch. When he'd pulled all the way out, Lanya turned onto her back and looked at him. <clears throat> Satisfaction and amazement filled her expression. No hint of pain or reproach. Oli leaned on his elbow and brought her, his lips to hers gently, so gently. Mm -hmm.